Hi there, this is Mrs. Piper, and I am going to be going over the steps of our lesson that is called What's in a Name? We're going to be using symmetrical balance to create a name design creature. Now, I've spread my camera up a little bit higher so you might see a, a lot of different things in the frame. So, um, let me just go over what I have in front of me. First of all, I have the handout that you have, or that you will have, and I've got the samples. The samples are actually photocopied on the back, but this is the original, so I've got single-sided versions. Okay? What's in a name? The, creating a symmetrical name design creature. Now, um, for this portion of the lesson, I need a couple of pieces of copy paper, and you can have as many as you would like. I am starting off with a few. And I'm going to take my piece of copy paper and I'm going to fold it in half lengthwise. I want it to be long and narrow. Okay? And, by the way, the fold for me happens to be at the bottom. Okay? If you fold it and you accidentally turn it over and you put the letters on the side that's open, it will not work. So put your fold at the bottom. And I'm going to move this second sheet out of the way. And we're going to start with step number one. Remember, a criteria list is a list of things that you need to do to make sure your design is successful. Step number one. Think of each letter in your name as a line and draw it. Okay? So, I've got my piece of paper that's folded in half. And I'm going to draw my name. Now, when I draw my name, I'm thinking of each letter as a line. Oh, let me make it darker so that you can see it on the screen. Okay, so there's my name in linear form. These are zigzag lines, curvy lines, etc. That was step one. Draw your name. Step two, make each line a shape by giving it an outline. Okay? Now, um, I did this very dark, and because I don't want this big dark line to show on my demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and fold another sheet and just trace around the letters. And this is just for me more than you. What you would do is you would, you would lay it down and you would just trace around the lines to make it a shape. But because for this demonstration I don't want this line to show, I'm going to go ahead and trace it onto another sheet of paper. Okay, so give me just a moment. Let me fold this. I'm going to tuck this inside and then I'm going to trace around it. Okay, so let me stick that in. You might not be able to see the lines because I'm tracing through them. So now I've drawn my D as a shape. Here's my A. as a shape, my W, I hope I'm making it dark enough for you to see, and my N is right next to it. So 
So there is my name as shape. Now, I created several different examples because I don't want you to think that you just do one and you're done. So let me show you the ones that I have. I um, did my name in all caps. This was the one I just did. I did my name in bubble letters, and you'll notice my low, my D was a lowercase d. You do not have to do uppercase. And I even did it in cursive. So again, I have taken my name, and I've thought of each letter in my name as a line, and I've drawn it. And then I've made each line a shape by giving it an outline. Now, for mine, I've given four different examples so that I can kind of pick and choose. I would like for each of you to have at least two or three. I think that would be terrific. And that concludes the first two steps. Again, you are creating a symmetrical name design creature. And that completes steps one and two. I'll see you in just a few minutes for the next step. Thank you for watching.